Hi again. <laughs> this is continuation of making your own patterns using PaintNet. Okay, we've got the program, PaintNet. You got the Pixel Counter 2 plugin. And you've got it in the right folder to be able to run it. So now we're going to make our pattern. Find your PaintNet on your desktop. Can you see it okay? No. Got a million little. Icons. Oh, there you go. Okay, PaintNet. Double click, get it open. Yeah, I did. All right. This is your standard size. It automatically opens up a blank page. You're good right there. Stop. You want to make them dizzy? <laughs> okay. Um, to make a pattern this way, the width, we're going to, first of all, go grab the image that you want to use. So I go to file and I'm going to go open up an image. I'll try to pick something easy. <laughs> this is the one that I just made. See that? Um, let's try. Okay, let's try the deer. All right, we want to, we have to change the size of it, obviously. So we go up to image, see that? Yeah. Check resize, and then it pops this up. Okay, we're gonna just for an example, choose, let's say our book has 600 pages which is 300 sheets. So we change this to be 300 and then um, height is fine here. Um, height is your height of your book in centimeters. So if your book, let's say a 20 centimeter tall book, okay? It's a big book. 20, that's 20 centimeters tall. Okay, whatever. <laughs> then click OK. Now, see what it did? Made it tall and skinny. All right. Um, I want my colors reversed because I need this to be white in order to run that plug in yeah, there. That looks weird, that, like that. It don't, it'll fold out OK. Trust me. So we're going to go up here. We're going to switch it. Reverse the colors. Um... Go back and do that again, because wait, I was still on the picture. Um, I gotta find it right. It's in the effect, maybe. Um, I can't remember where it's at. Um. I can't remember where my invert oh colors. invert colors thank you honey okay that's what I want okay now to run this plugin you can't have black here and then black down here it has to be white surrounding your black so and I want it to stretch out a little farther to the right that makes sense so we're gonna go up to our tool choose rectangle select and since I'm going to be doing some erasing anyway, we're going to go like this. Okay. Then I go back to tool, select, move selected pixels. I want to widen that out a little bit. Okay. And I don't want it to be that far to the bottom. I want to raise it up and I want this down a little bit. So my folds aren't as tiny at the top. Anytime you do something like this, go back into brightness and contrast. And you got to get it, that'll get rid of light color. So now it just gave it more contrast. Go back to rectangle select and... Where is rectangle select? Because Right here. Click so fast. Oh, sorry. Like... Rectangle select right there. Under the tools. Under tools. All right. Now we have to get rid of... 
the extra color that's around the image. So we're going to go to our paintbrush. You see that? Choose paintbrush. And so it's quicker. I'm going to have it be about a 10. Did you see that up here? Yeah. Brush width 10. Then we're going to go down here to the little magnifying. Where is that? Right there at the bottom right. Okay. And we're going to zoom in. Okay. And we're going to be able to clean up a little bit. Okay. So like we got to get rid of all, wait, we got to get rid of all that black. So you're right clicking on your mouse to erase. You're putting down white, really. It's not, I don't like using the eraser. It's way too difficult. It's way easier to just right click and put down white. Okay, so here we need to get rid of all this. Because you'll get some weird folds if you leave those on there. That plug-in will just not know what the heck's going on. And then get rid of this black. And then I like to go in after all that. Oh, see there was a few little light colored things there. My computer screen's dirty, sorry. Looks terrible. I need to clean it. But I just like to go over a little bit and make sure I got rid of every little stray piece. Okay, I'm gonna get down a little bit. And now we're gonna go back over to the tool and select the pencil and increase the size again. Now you can see the individual pixels and I wanna clean it up a little bit. We don't need this tiny one, so just right click, get that off of there. Cause you don't want stray little tiny folds. Like look at this little thing, that's gonna look weird. So. Right click that, add a black dot here because we didn't need that. And we could probably fill in, that's a left click to get black. Right click gives you white. Looks pretty good. And then after you've done any adjustments like this, well, I'll get rid of this little one too. Um, go back up under adjustments and click your brightness contrast again. Because you want it to be as, sharp an image as you can get it. Now let's zoom back out and make sure it looks okay. Looks good, right? Yeah. Okay. So remember, the width in pixels is the number of sheets of your book. So if you had a thousand page book, 500 sheets, you could set that to 500. So now we're going to run the plugin that we went and got online. Go to Effects. Go to Object. And do you see pixel counter too? Yep, we're going to go over to that and select it. Okay, what's the height of our book? We said about 20 centimeters, right? And we want it in centimeters. I prefer centimeters. It's way easier on those rulers. Because if you do inches, it'll give you, I don't know, weird fraction inches. You could choose it pixels if you wanted. Um, then save file. And it automatically pops up this weird place to put it. I'm going to choose it in my book folding folder. And I choose patterns. And I'm going to call it um, Deer Heart. <laughs> Oops. Okay, save, then select OK, and it saved it. Let's double check where it's at. Go to our book folding stuff. I don't close out of that other program yet. I'm just paranoid about it not being in there. Where's our book folded? Folded book patterns. Dear heart over here. Okay. Open it up. Okay, this is where I look to make sure everything turned out okay. 
Um, it, this has me starting on page 95 because I had a bit of white. At the, you know, I could have stretched it out a little more if I'd wanted to. So this has page 95. Let's scroll down and see what our last page number is. Last page is 513 because remember I said we had a 600 page book. So it's not going to require all 513 pages because you're not starting until page 90 something. You might want that number on each side of your pattern, but you could go back in and mess with it to get it closer to your book size. Then I look to make sure I don't have some super tiny little folds on here. Like I tried to keep it at about two centimeter at least. 2.1. There's one kind of little, but not you bad. Got a 1 .1. I do have a 1.1. Fold number 46, page 133. Uh-uh, 2.2. Right. To, to 3.3. No, 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 that's okay. It just, we don't want it less than two centimeters to start. Ah. Uh, Actually, it doesn't matter when you're not making a, a okay, 90 whatever, degree whatever. fold. Keep talking. <laughs> okay, so if you can see, look at, we have a, quite a few folds right here. 133, 133, 133, 133, 133. We're going to have five folds on that page. We're going to be having, you know, so 10 cuts. Okay, so if you want to add your image, um, insert picture, and go back and find the deer part right here. Now remember, this is reversed. It's We're doing a different image than that, but you could put that on here if you wanted. It's going to be the opposite colors. Remember, we swapped the colors. But it gives you an idea of how to add the picture. I, I kind of get a little bit littler. Okay, now we want to convert this to PDF. So we go to up here where it says, I should say, this program is called Kingsoft. It's free. It has word processing, spreadsheets, Everything, you know, Excel type program like this is. I didn't pay for it. It's free for you to find on the internet. If you use it, go up here where it says file. Go over to here, export to PDF. Where you want to put it, what it's called. Looks good. It's creating the PDF. Your stomach just crawled. I wonder if it's going to pick it up. It wasn't my stomach. It was your stomach. It wasn't mine. <laughs> okay, this is what it looks like. If you have a PDF editor, you can go in and make any changes you want. This is full. It just tells you the number of folds on the, the left, and, it, and then it tells you your page numbers here. And if you go to the very end, that's where I put the picture. It stuck it on there. But it adds a lot of extra pages that are useless. I don't know why it does that. So I usually open it up in my PDF editor and I got rid of those extra pages. Um, hope that helped y'all for making your own patterns. If you got any questions, just feel free to ask. Talk to you later. Bye. Smile.